I'm a little nervous to do this video, Ooh, but. Hey bosses, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenneth Renee. I'm a little nervous to do this video, Ooh, but we gonna do it. So today I am doing an unpopular opinions video. I've been wanting to do one of these videos for a minute because I just had some shit I wanted to talk. So I was like, I just wanna put this out there. Now disclaimer, these are my opinions and I do apologize if I offend anyone, but these are my opinions. I just wanna express my opinions. So let's get into it, but before we do, Start my depression into deposits merch is out right now my merch is now available click the link in the bio and grab your hoodies it's getting cold outside it comes in black and brown grab your hoodies links down below first opinion all scammers are broke ass niggas okay let me start there let me start there all scammers are broke Point blank here, I don't care how much a scammer is, uh, how much a scammer has or how much a scammer flexes, he's still broke because let's be honest here, you're stealing other people's money. Without those other people's money, what would you have? I'll wait. Because at the end of the day, if you get caught and you go to jail and you get released from jail, you're back broke. Like at least drug dealers, at least like they making, even though what they doing is illegal, they make it is their own money because they selling their own supplies. You feel me? Scammers are stealing other people's money. So when you go to jail, when you get out, you're not gonna have that money. You literally living off of other people's money. Like you're still broke. I don't care. Any hairstylist that charges over $400 or more for a wig install needs to go to hell. Period. Like. $400, $500 just to glue a wig on my head. You're not even sewing nothing. Like, there's a special place in hell for y'all. Seriously, it, it's there for you because why are you charging $500, $600 to glue a wig on my head? You know, I think that those hairstylists, they're charging so much money to keep up with the lifestyle of their scammer boyfriends because let's be real, most hairstylists out here is fucking on a scammer, especially in Atlanta, but that's another story for another day. That's why y'all charging that much. But since I'm not about to fund your lifestyle, if you get, you charging $400 for a wig install, just stop it. Just These business coaches are frauds, okay? A lot of these marketing coaches are frauds. Why is your first ever business a marketing business? Like to me, if you've never had a business before, like I teach business and I ran a hair business for three years and I had a jewelry business, I had a lash business, I did graphics. Like, I had several businesses before I was able to teach somebody. Why is your first business teaching somebody how to build a brand, how to market? Do, have you built a brand or marketing on your own besides for coaching? Have you made money besides for coaching? No. If you work on a marketing coach, ask them, what was your first business before this? And if they tell you, oh, this is my first business, bitch, no. <laughs> no. No. I absolutely hate girls in relationships that give self-love advice. Let me tell you why I hate girls that give self-love advice in a relationship. Because I personally feel like the only reason why you are so in love with yourself is because you have a man. If that nigga get up and leave you tomorrow, are you still going to be happy with yourself? Are you still going to be happy? A lot of girls is not going to be happy. Self-love means that if that nigga get up and walk out your life tomorrow, you still gonna be happy. No. Take self-love advice from a female that is completely single and still happy. Because a lot of these females that are given this self-love advice, they're only happy because they have a man. Because if that nigga get up and leave tomorrow, they gonna be sick. <laughs> I hate that everybody is trying to be a YouTuber but don't want to put in the work. Like when I was starting my YouTube channel, I went and did a whole bunch of research on how to come up with different titles, how to edit my videos, how to do all this stuff. All these people want to be YouTubers and don't want to put in the work. How are you a YouTuber and don't want to put in the work? Like what? I feel like the ultimate marketing technique is to build a name for yourself. 
Like, let's be real, branding is important because the presentation of your business is super important. But the biggest marketing technique is to really build a name for yourself. A lot of these business coaches and Instagram people will always give you all these different techniques and stuff. But the main thing is to really just build a name for yourself and make sure that you have a good product and promote that bitch and promote it and build a name for yourself and have a personal brand. All these different tactics, it's like, they okay, but the main marketing technique really is building a name for yourself. We live in a we live in a clout 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 type of world. You know what I'm saying? Like people gonna buy, people wanna buy from people that they know. You know what I'm saying? I'll do a whole video on that subject, but honestly, that's the main marketing take to me. I absolutely hate girls that are in relationships that still be complaining about niggas. Why are you on Instagram? Why are you on Twitter complaining about niggas when you have a nigga at home, your nigga treated you well? I don't understand that. I never understood that. Like, you have a whole nigga treating you well, but you get on Instagram talking about niggas. Getting mad, talking about niggas ain't shit. Girl, if, if, I, had, if I was in a relationship my man was treating well, you wouldn't hear about it. Like, be happy before you manifest that nigga not being shit for real. <laughs> like, dead as serious. Dead as serious. Serious. I don't like having something that everybody else has. If I see everybody with the same Prada bag, I don't want it. If I see everybody with the driving the same type of car, I don't want it. Mercedes Benz is starting to get played out. So of course y'all know I drive a Mercedes Benz and I wanted to get a GLE, but they are getting so played out. Like GLEs, G Wagons, that's every girl's dream car, a GLE or a G Wagon. Like I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking at getting a, BM, a BMW X5 or is it X4? One of the BMW X trucks, like that's what's been growing on me. I've been looking at Porsche trucks cause y'all just playing the fuck out of Mercedes. Like I'm just, it's getting played out. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, it's getting played out. They're playing it out. Y'all playing it out. Maybe I might stay with Mercedes, I don't know, but it's just getting so played out. I really hate when people be like, why do you spend all this money for rent when you could have bought a house? First of all, do you know how, how complicated the process is of getting a house? It takes about two to three months to get a house. You gotta, they gotta check your tax records. You can't run your credit for two or three months. If you run your credit while you're in the process of trying to get a home loan, you gotta start the home loan over. Um, you got to show 12 months of bank statements. You got to go through so many bank statements. If you own a business, you got to go through so many bank statements. You got to go through this. You got to go through that. With an apartment, it's easy. They check your credit. Boom, you get approved. Boom, this is that. And why do you care? Like, why do people even care about that? If somebody want to spend $2,000, $3,000 a month on a high rise, then let them do that. That's their money. Like, that has nothing to do with you. Not everybody wants to live in a house. Not everybody wants to have a five-bedroom home. Like... Why does that matter to you? Why does that matter to you? That way, it don't matter. The reason why Atlanta has gotten so bad, and this is my whole opinion, is because they gave the wrong niggas money. So hear me out. The reason why Atlanta is so bad is because right before, like I used to be outside in Atlanta, like before March of 2020, Atlanta was, Buckhead was safe, okay? Buckhead was safe, like you could leave your door open and buckhead and nobody would touch your shit now them breaking into cars downtown and stuff like that that is normal they've been doing that for years the only thing that's new is the crime in buckhead and the reason why it's the crime in buckhead is because they gave the wrong niggas money these niggas out here getting edd uh edd ppp what else is it edd ppp unemployment whatever they getting all these checks and the first thing they're gonna do is want to go to lennox and they want to go to Linux, they want to go to Phipps, and they want to splurge. But once they get in the rich people area, they don't know how to act. So they start, you know, some people ain't never had nothing and they just don't know how to act. So because they don't know how to act, there you go. You know what I'm saying? And people starting to just, I don't know. It's just people just, people who never had money, they got money now. I don't think it has nothing to do with our mayor. I honestly think just... People, they done gave the wrong niggas money and now they just don't know how to act. That's what's wrong with Atlanta. I don't know how we can fix it. Them separating Atlanta and Buckhead is not gonna fix it because then it's just gonna be like Buckhead and Atlanta's ghetto and not just Atlanta. It's gonna be Buckhead and Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So them trying to split and make Buckhead its own city just ain't gonna work. Like, it's just not gonna work at all. 
When I went to visit Houston, Texas, I absolutely loved it. I think the city is beautiful. It was such a chill vibe. Downtown didn't give me anxiety like it does in Atlanta. And I really, really love Houston. I got on a Texas shirt, but I didn't get this from Texas. I got this from Fashion Nova, but I love Houston. And I want to... I want to like own some property out there or do some business out in Houston because I really love it. I want to make it like a second home. Fancy equipment to be a YouTuber. So this kind of goes back to the other thing I was talking about. You do not have to have fancy equipment. I feel like people want to have fancy equipment to be a YouTuber. I think they have to have all this fancy equipment and they don't. I literally just started getting fancy equipment when I moved to this apartment. I've been doing YouTube for almost a year now. I'm actually about to be coming up in my two years in a couple of months. And I just bought an $800 camera like a few months ago and I just bought Studio Lights and I just got a whole freaking studio. So, yeah. Entrepreneurship is hard as fuck. Do not let anybody tell you that entrepreneurship is easy. It's just one, two, three. Entrepreneurship is absolutely hard. It is some days where I make a lot of money. It's some days where I make no money. It's some days where I'm happy as fuck. It's some days where I have a mental breakdown and say fuck this shit. But entrepreneurship is hard and I would and it's not for the week. I would highly recommend for you to make sure that you're doing something that you love. And this kind of goes into the next thing. Um, I hate when people say, just start a business. You don't even have to like it. Like, no, you need to love the business that you do. And let me tell you why. If you wanted to make a lot of money doing something that you hate, go work a job and work your way up to like regional manager or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't just start a business and you hate it just for the money because people can see right through that shit. Like if people know that you hate it, people can see right through it. People can see right through it. So definitely start a business that you love and something that you love to do. I personally think Drake's album was better than Kanye's because I hate the new Kanye. I do not like this new Kanye. His album is not, it's just, I, I didn't listen to it because it just doesn't, I don't like the new Kanye. I like the old Kanye before he got married to Kim Kardashian. I like the old Kanye. My favorite Kanye song is Through the Through the Wire. That's the Kanye that I like. I like the when he was on his heart, y'all remember the Heartless album that he released the years back that's my kanye that's the kanye that i like i used to love kanye but ever since he married kim kardashian he just went Coo -coo. so i don't like this kanye i don't support this kanye so that's why i like drake's album better sorry sorry to my kanye fans but i, I was a kanye fan and i'm not no more because i don't like i don't like his new switch up uh what else parents need to listen to kids that have that are going through um, depression and mental health issues. It's a big problem in the black community because it it's a big problem in the back black community because whenever I try to talk to my mom about any depression or mental issues I went through, she always told me like, oh, here you go again, oh, and I used to not like that. So I always used to have to kind of resolve my own issues. But when I, am, when I become a parent, I'm gonna definitely hear my daughter or my son out whenever they say they're depressed. Please check on your depressed friends. Please check on your depressed family members. And if you are a parent, please listen to your child, especially black, Black parents, depression and mental illness is very looked frowned upon in the black community and we need to really stop that and listen to our kids and people when they say they're depressed. This kind of goes to the last the last thing I just talked about. Going to see a therapist does not mean you're crazy. Going to see a therapist does not mean you're depressed. You do not have to go see a therapist because you're depressed. You can simply go see a therapist because you want to be a better person and you want to resolve any issues that you may have about yourself. You can go see a therapist to tell, to, so they can help you work on whatever you need to work on to be a better you. If you feel like you can't do it on your own, you can go see a therapist. Therapy does not mean that you're crazy, you're depressed, you're about to no it can simply mean i want to be a better person i want someone to help me and you want to talk to a total stranger i went to therapy but i went to therapy when i was going through a really really tough breakup in my life and i really felt like i couldn't handle it but then even after a while when i started to feel better i even still kept talking to my therapist because i wanted to figure out what i could do to be a better person for myself and my therapist helped me with that so you don't have to always go to therapy when you're depressed you can go to therapy when you are happy. I really hate when people say free R. Kelly. Um, I hate when people say free R. Kelly as a joke because it's kind of like you make it fun of sexual abuse. And I don't even, can I say abuse on YouTube? 
I feel like you make it fun of sexual abuse and you're making fun of the victims. Are all the victims telling the truth? We don't know, but hey, at the end of the day, I feel like when people say Free R. Kelly, it's just like, it's so cringeworthy because like, even if you're trying to be funny, it's like, we see what type of person you are if you think that you think that's funny. And I really hate when men think that abuse of women getting beaten and stuff like that is funny. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's not funny at all. The people in the shade room comments really irk my nerves. And I know this is probably not an unpopular opinion, but I just had to say it because I feel like people are so miserable. Somebody could be, somebody could have found the cure to cancer and somebody in the shade room be like, well, why you didn't find that 10, 20 years ago, bitch? Bitch. Bitch. Come on now. Like, what the fuck? Like, what? Let's be happy that we got it now. Like, come on now. Like, like, come on now. 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 Like what? Like, like what? Like what? So, those are a few of my unpopular opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. I may do like a part two if I can think of some other ones, but let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one.